Right, you know when you see these videos, people's allotments and they have sheds, they've got kettles in them, they're practically mini houses. This is not that kind of shed. This is a disaster. <laughs> I will get to that later. Oh, who cares? All I want is these two things here. Yeah. Fork and a rake. See, that's all I need. Welcome back to the plot. It's another manure day. It's another day to get the wheelbarrows and shove a more of that fabulous poop. It's hard going, but it's necessary and it's good and it needs done. And very soon I'm going to have something very good to show you because I'm making progress. Robin's just turned up. He'll need to wait his turn because manure stops for no woman or something like that. I don't know. Getting funny looks. This is an historic moment and I wanted to share it with you. As far as the poo goes, we have just gone over the halfway line. I will be putting asparagus in there instead of having a wooden border, but not just now because as you can probably see, it's steaming hot and would probably just kill my plants. So I'm going to go and get some more. So I've finished one line, almost, of this next bay. I'm going to do a little bit more, but my goodness, it's hard work. Full moon. Tells me it's nearly time to go home. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Helicopter, shut up, you're spoiling my moment. Well, I hope you can see from that progress that I've made today. I've decided to sort of, see if I can get this right, <laughs> leave this little bit undone here. So I've got a path to bring the wheelbarrow through. So then I'll finish this bit here. Where am I? Here, yeah. So do this wee bit. That should be maybe one, two loads to get that done. And then I can concentrate filling that up and do that bit there right at the end. I'm quite pleased with that, to be honest. The weather has been surprisingly good this last wee while. I know I've said it now, so that's it, jinxed. Well, surprise, surprise, from out of daylight again. I am really happy though with how much work we got done. We got done. Very important to remember that. Uh, um, I don't know what the actual temperature is for today. I think it's at about 11 degrees centigrade coming up in the car. See doing that and I have wheelbarrowed up and down and up and down and shoveling it and raking all that stuff. I am roasting. I'm glad you can't see because I'm actually sweating. It's the middle of November and I am roasting and I'm very glad for that. So the next time we come up, I'm going to get that finished and I'm going to take a break from wheelbarrowing and shoveling poop and I'm going to deal with the strawberry patch and see what I can do with that. It is a bit of a mess. Don't say you weren't warned, it's actually it's horrendous, but you know, little by little, it all gets done. We're back again, it's freezing cold. It's actually, it's not quite freezing, it's one degree today. So I'm going to try and go as quick as I can and get a bit of heat. I've got lots of boxes to put on the path up here, which I will show you in a minute. We've just missed a very heavy sleet shower, so I spared you that at least. Let me go and get the boxes and I'll show you what we're doing. Yep, this bit is an absolute disaster and I'm not going to weed it all. Um, I maybe should do a little bit more weeding than I have. That was our friend just flying by. So I'm just going to put cardboard boxes on it and see if we can get some wood chip on it as well. Try and smother these things for a while. Give me a bit of breathing space if nothing else. Right, just open up these boxes, get rid of these. That's some weeds I probably pulled out of frustration the last time I was here. Open up whatever I have, plunk it on as, in as thick a layer as possible. Ideally I would want about three layers of cardboard on it. But, 
any start is a good start. Right, that's a good thick layer. We're going to put some wood chip on that. That should take care of the weeds for a while anyway. It just gives me a bit of breathing space, like I was saying, you know, so I can crack on other things. Ta da Finished. <sighs> you wouldn't think poop would make somebody so happy. Yeah, it's finished. That's my line. I keep wanting to come further and further, but I have to remember I've actually got a line there. And that is finished. All covered in manure. I am one happy little bunny. And I've got a bit left over for the rhubarb, which I'm just going to go and throw that round just now. So I've done the two rhubarb bays, one in the corner and this one. The one in the middle, I don't know what I'm going to put in it. It might be for potatoes, it might be for leeks, who knows, but I put some manure in that as well. So that's done. That bit up there is done. I think I'll come to this bit next. It's looking pretty pathetic, so I think I'll do this next. But, we have made a start on the wood chip, so that's good. So we've actually done quite a lot considering how cold it's been and how much light we have. I'm pleased with that. So that's it for this week, our visits to the plot. Hopefully the weather will be a bit kinder to us next week than what the forecast says, because it doesn't look good for next week at all. If I come up, of course, I will bring you with me and we'll see if we can get some of the fruit area done at least. But until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>